Hi, everyone. I'm Kathleen. I'm Nancy. And we are On, on the, the needles. needles. Episode 17. 17. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. When we, get, when we hit 20, we're going to have to have a drink to celebrate. We have to wait that long? Well, on camera. Okay. All right. I'm drinking iced coffee today because what's a podcast without a bunch of caffeine, huh? Right. We decided that last time. Yeah. Definitely. So what's new? It's been a couple of weeks. Um, not all that much. I mean, what do we do lately? Just stay mm -hmm. home and knit. And yeah, we We've got vaccinated. Watching. Both of us got our second shots. We did. Yes. And it knocked me out. I was so sick for three days. Oh, sorry. Oh, I know. I, I didn't really care because I was so happy to have it, have the vaccine, you know, uh -huh. but I felt so awful. Mimi said, she's like, I don't think I've ever seen you so disheveled. <laughs> like I, yeah. Yeah. yeah see, and I, I had a sore arm. I didn't have a sore arm the first time. I had a sore arm the second time. And about 30 hours after the shot, <clears throat> my shoulder was just really achy, which was odd. So um, I just took some Tylenol and I've got this amazing um, CBD cream that I have gotten. And I put that on and that was it. I was tired, but I don't think it was from the shot. I think it was just because I'm busy. Yeah. Uh, and I've seen, or it seems to me that the younger people are having more reactions than the older, because a lot of the older, yeah. you know, my age and older that have gotten the shots don't, you know, other than maybe a little fatigue, but not the, yeah. the chills and the fever. And <clears throat> yeah, so. I had the whole thing. I mean, I was in bed for a day and a half. Yeah. And I was prepared. I was like, okay, I'm, this is, I'm going to take a day off and mm -hmm. uh, it, I got mine on a Friday. So Saturday, I try not to work on the weekends, but sometimes I try to put a couple hours in the morning, but I thought, well, I feel great. So I'll do housework. <laughs> so I did housework up think for about six hours worth of housework because it wow. was just getting behind. Yeah. And then I sat, but, but does that mean that maybe this see you're a week out and mm -hmm. I'm almost a week out. Maybe our next podcast we can do together. Yeah. Wouldn't that and, be great? You know, I, I think that everybody in your house has gotten their shots. Mm hmm. Yep. And so, yeah, we're going to discuss that and see if that works, but maybe we can um, start podcasting in person. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Well, so what have you got on there? That's a beautiful piece. I am wearing the Zweig, Zweig, Zweig by mm -hmm. um, Caitlin Hunter. I'm going to try to stand up. So pretty. Sorry for the boob shot. So <laughs> it's got this little, oh, um, yeah. you know, like a honeycomb pattern. Uh-huh. Um, this I think I made, well, it's probably been a couple of years ago when I first started dyeing yarn. Uh, before I even had the website. And so this is, the pink is blush um, in my plush base, which is the Merino Cashmere Nylon Fingering. And then this is, hopefully there's no pills on it. Mm -hmm. This is yak and silk. Oh, and yeah. so I, um, I was playing with some yak and silk and this is in its natural color, um, trying to decide if I wanted to carry it in the shop. I, you know, I did for a little bit. I don't think I am again, but oh my gosh, it is so warm that I, the weather is absolutely gorgeous here today. I think it's supposed to be like 50. Yeah. And um, it's, 58. it's 58 right now. Okay. Well then it's supposed to be like 50. <laughs> yeah. It's 58. So I was concerned that it was going to be a little warm, but I do have the, the slider open. Sunshine. Yeah. I absolutely love it. But then it's supposed to start cooling off and get back more into normal temperatures, which is the mid 40s. But I think I, I'm going to throw this out right now. You guys are hearing this from me first. I think I'm going to put the snow blower in the shed. Ooh, <laughs> I think I'm going to take it'll it out snow of the garage for sure. and put it in the shed. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to oh, boy. That. So you you're heard really it flirting with disaster there. So if it snows, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> so yeah. What about you? What are you wearing? Well, I'm just wearing, it's kind of a plain um, sweater. It's called Sunshine Coast and it's Ugh. got eyelets and this, this kind of neat uh, detail down the mm -hmm. side. And then it's got eyelets at the neck, which you can't really see that well, but um, it is by Heidi Kermeyer. And it was a knit along with our um, LYS Knit Knit the Studio mm -hmm. a couple years ago. And um, this is Kelborn Woolen Scout in the color Granite Heather. And Scout is just, and you can kind of see here, it's got this long, uh, wide section where you do the um, raglan shaping. And I'll show you on screen here. Um, maybe, here it is. So now you can see in this lighter color, all the details it has. And I, I mean, I wear this all the time. It's like a sweatshirt type sweater for me. And this, uh, this Kelborn Woolen Scout, it's a DK weight um, and comes in a gorgeous array of colors. And it's pretty, I mean, it's, it's wool. I think it's hundred percent wool, but it's not, it's soft. I really like it. Like I have just a camisole under, underneath, but it's not itchy on my arms or anything. So I, I like it. I did one too. And I did not like mine. I don't oh, think really? I've ever worn it. Yeah. I didn't, oh. I don't know. It, I, I loved the pattern. I just didn't like mine. I don't even know where that sweater is. And maybe I should huh. find it. But yeah. yeah so I, I don't think I like what color. The, did you do? I did it in um like a, a just like a baby blue color. Oh, pretty. Yeah. So and then all those details would show up better. Yeah. But that's okay. Oh, well. you can't like yeah. them all. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't like I said, I don't even know where it's at. It huh. Uh, yeah, because it's not now in my sweater drawer, and it's hmm. maybe, maybe you gave it away. Maybe, maybe one of your granddaughters I, has it. Uh, no, no. Okay. Maybe I gifted it to the goodwill. I don't Ooh. know. I don't know where it was. But anyway, yeah. So, what have you finished? Well, I finished my striped sweater. Yay. It's not blocked, or else I'd be wearing it. But it is done. And oh, there's a marker still on it. You were so close um, last night. I'm glad you finished it. I know I finished it. So I can't wait to wear it. It is so soft. It's that wolf, wolf folk snow, which mm -hmm. is uh, the fingering weight. And I'm going to block it. And I have enough yarn. I could make it longer if I wanted to. It's, I don't is know, I'm going to block super it. Super washed or non super washed? No, uh -uh, it's not. Mm. Yeah. Because I, it, it, she, it's Andrea Mowry, and she made it pretty cropped, and I made it a little bit longer, but not as long as I normally make my sweaters. So, I don't know. I'm gonna block it, and if I am not happy with it, I'll. I have a plenty of yarn left, so. Yeah. I dewind cool. one thing of the darker, the brown, just to do one stripe and the. Oh my gosh. Uh, cuff. Yeah, so I was kind of bummed about that, but oh well. Yeah, cool. Yeah. What about you? Right. Do you have any any other? I things do. Yet? I finished. I finished my hat. Oh, good. Your so Ross this hat. is the Ross hat. Look at the. Oh, the I love that. Isn't that cool. So this is um, Ross from Smells Like Yarn, and um, he has. Uh, released a hat pattern on his website, smellslikeyarn.com. And so he does this hat, but he's done it for all the bases. So, um, all weights, you all, all weights, cute. That's so um, cute with your hair. So, I used, and I, I kind of did this one backwards. I'm going to show you again. Normally, um, you do like, well, not normally, but you can do like a solid color base yarn, I'll call it base yarn, and then a variegated, no, let me take that back, a variegated base yarn and a solid 
mohair fluff and it kind of mutes the colors. But I did a solid base yarn and the variegated mohair. So it makes the colors pop. It's so really I used pretty. Just blush, which is my pink color in the base, and then unicorn farts <laughs> in the uh, mohair fluff. So Ross hat, hat done. Fun. Very fun. So that's my that's my finished object. Cool. But uh, yeah. So what's on your needles? Well, I have a lot of stuff on my needles, and okay, um, if you haven't seen, <laughs> if you haven't seen our little uh, work in progress parade that went up on Wednesday, you should look at that because it is pretty funny. We <laughs> found all of our, um, well, not all, but many of our works in progress, and showed them to you guys just to. Just to kind of, for me, it was kind of to find my needles. And then also I found a whole bunch of project bags that I wanted to reclaim. Yeah. But I found this is not on that video because I decided to put it back in rotation, but it's the hitchhiker. And um, it's a, oh, that's the back. It's a gradient kit mm. from Katja Yarns. And it, um, goes of course it's in the middle of a row but yeah so i think this is the last color this orange so oh, that's so cool. i don't know why i put this away i think maybe i was working on it last summer or something so i'm gonna get that back out and finish uh -huh. it uh -huh. and then um i also found that i and i actually think i've showed these before it's this um sock it's called sunshine and it's by cookie a and it is um out of barocco socks metallic i don't know you can't really see but it's got a gold sparkle and i had this one sock finished for i don't know probably three or four years and then i found the rest of the yarn so i cast on this uh the other one and I don't know, I guess I maybe needed those needles. <laughs> so, yeah. And I mean, it's on the cuff is almost done. Yeah. So I'm going to finish that. And I also have, I've talked about before, my trellis top that I'm going to start on again. But these two are going to be great, just TV, Zoom knitting. Um, the trellis top will get there again. It was not it, it's all traveling stitches and so um it wasn't super conducive to that but once i got into the rhythm of it it was fine um and of course our knit along i'm working on that i did not bring it in because i haven't gotten very far since the last time we met and um that's actually bumped to the top of my list because I finished the stripes sweater. I'm not going to start anything else but that shawl because I not only want to get it done in time for the knit along, but I just want to wear it. It's so gorgeous. It's mm -hmm. the destination unknown. And uh, it is so pretty and so do I even have it in my projects? What's my problem? Um. It's a slip stitch pattern. It's, um, I'm going to bring it up. It's a cool shawl. So cool. Okay. Get back to you guys, share screen. That's the thing I'm going to kind of miss about Zoom is sh you know, sharing, sharing the screen. I think so. Um, if we were savvy, or if I was savvy with video editing, I could do that. But so anyway, this is Destination Unknown, gorgeous, gorgeous. Here it is in a little bit of a lighter colorway. And it uh, I'm using Nancy's Oyster Shell and Midnight yarns. So oh, and Wicked, we're hosting Oyster that Shell and Wicked. Wicked, sorry. 
Um, I always mess that up. So we are hosting that over on our Ravelry page if it doesn't end until April 15th. So I, I feel like you could still start. And if you post pictures and hashtag it destination unknown KAL, um, you'll be entered to win a prize. So yeah. and then we don't probably, know what that is yet. But so are we going to draw from both Instagram and Ravelry? Uh, that yeah, what that's what we okay. did last time. Yeah. So communication if, between us is yeah, this is <laughs> we figured out here in front of you guys because um if you are knitting it, let us know how it's going in the comments. And yeah. um I need to check into that Ravelry page and see the progress because I haven't looked at that in a couple of days. So what about you, Nance? What have you got on the needles? Well, um, right now I have um a sock. And speaking of oyster shell, this is my oyster oh. shell colorway. So, so I am just doing um, a vanilla sock. The oyster shell has got some grays and blacks and blips of um, pinks and stuff that you uh -huh. would see inside of an oyster shell. So this is the first one, uh, toe up, 64 stitches, nine inch circulars. And uh, I'm getting close to the toe. I'll do the fish lips kiss. Um, they're getting close to the heel. So I'll do the fish lips kiss. So I cast this on um, Sunday. I went, we played cards this last Sunday. My, my mom has gotten both her vaccines. My sister hasn't gotten any yet, but oh, we went shoot. to her house and um, I brought cocktails because we're doing the happy hour club. And so I had to bring this month's cocktail. So we sat there, played cards, drank cocktails and um, I knit. And we play for money and I came home broke. So how did you knit and play cards? Um, well, everyone takes a turn. So while they were playing. You just put your cards down and pick up your knitting, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So wow. that is on my needles. I have a half finished sock. Oh, man, I love so that. This is um, Felici in the. I guess I could bring in the present colorway. So I got one sock done. This is just like my toe up, kind of like a, um, should be like a fish lips toe because it kind of looks like a fish Yeah, it does, lip. doesn't it? Uh, just my, you know, is it Judy's magic cast on or whatever yeah. that is, the, yeah. the figure eight cast on. Mm -hmm. 64 stitches, fish lips kiss heel, and then um, my leg, and then a two by two rib. So I is have all the Felici striped like that? No, um, a oh. lot of it is um, like two or three colors. Maybe, maybe I love that. Colors. I love this one. I absolutely love. Yeah, I think we decided this one has seven colors. Yeah, um, and it's the the present colorway. So here in my wonderful sock bag from Jeff, Yay. Um, I have the second one. So I'll cast that on. But nice yeah, Felici. Uh, you know, I think like our uh, one of our knit group friends, uh, a couple of them have used that Kirby Werby yarn, uh, and she's yes. a hand dyer. And I think it 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 stripes like that. It yes, um, yeah. Was it Carrie that was? I think just doing. Oh yeah, I think she was in our yeah. yeah. So so I have half finished. That one will be cast oh. on, and then I'm still working on on the road on the road sweater by, um, let's see, I wrote this down. Who wrote this one? Oh, you knit Toronto. Oh, so yeah. this is done in the sport. So this is the golden rod and then oh, um, nice. onto the beaver. So I'm- God, you're close. I am, I'm doing the ribbing for the bottom. Just started the ribbing. Oh, that looks great. I just started the ribbing. was trying to get it done last night in our Tuesday night knit group, but didn't make it. So then I'll pick up for the sleeves. So yeah, this hopefully will be done next time we podcast. This is for granddaughter. Well, third, third in line, um, second sweater. So yeah, that should be done. Yeah. I, she wants long sleeves. But it shouldn't take long because I'll do my sleeves. I do my sleeves on like a 12 inch circular and then when I get down to the ribbing and then I drop it down to a nine inch circular and you just go round and round so yeah that's that is what I have 
been working on. Cool. Love it. Um, okay. So have dream knitting. Well, no, nothing that's not already cast on. I'm not allowing myself to do when I was looking for all my works in progress, I was finding all this yarn. I'm like, oh, like no. shiny, you know, but no, yeah, I can't do it. Yeah. I will have to cast on another sweater. Um, <clears throat> but not till after I finish that trellis. Yeah. So I have, how about you? What about your not, dream knitting? Uh, just what I've already showed. Um, yeah. that you know, when I finish this sweater, then I'll cast on that other that off the shoulder mm -hmm. uh with the big, big collar. Yeah. Um, that'll be my next cast on, but, and then, um, maybe a shawl or two. Cause if you watched our whip parade, there's a couple there I'm going to finish. So yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so that's it. I have an acquisition. Oh, it's a birthday present see. from Mimi. Um, that I just got kind of my birthday is in January. I was going to say, um, yeah. It was. <laughs> yeah. So it is show this last time it's the uh lady die welcome to florida the golden girls club nice i didn't show that last time did i uh no huh no so this is the um yarn <laughs> and it's a sock pattern by tracy from the grocery girls and i didn't pull it up because i wasn't that organized um and then you get these uh stickers which i think are hilarious <laughs> Shady Pines. <laughs> and this, they always include such cute little things. This little button that says, picture it a finished project 2021. And then, of course, stitch markers. And they are so funny. Um, they say, okay, so there's the Golden Girls. And then one that says, think like Dorothy, flirt like Blanche, joke like Sophia, love like Rose. Oh, isn't that sweet? <clears throat> and then this says, thank you for being a friend. And this one says, not now, ma. <laughs> not now, ma. Um, and, then they, and then a little um, flamingo keychain. Oh, cute. cute. So yeah, that was fun to get that. Oh, and then they always give you tea. So ginger peach tea. Mm. Nice. So that was a fun little thing to get in the mail. Happy mail is always good. Yes. I think I just got some today. One of the kids brought in mail and um, <clears throat> I've sent out yarn for sample knitting and I think I got one back. Ooh, that's exciting. Okay. Later, yeah. Do you have any new stuff? Um, I do have some new stuff. I have. Um, oh, wait, I'm not oh, done. Yes. I have this. Back up. It came with this bag. <clears throat> oh, isn't that cute? Thank you for being a fiber friend. Now what you need to do is get those um, those felt pins that, you know, color on fabric and you can color in their faces. I could if I could color. Well, the lines are already there. That's true. Be like color by number or something. Right. <laughs> So I have a new tote bag because I I don't need them, but I went, it's got fiber all over it, went to um, Knit Knit Coeur d'Alene, who is our, like our second LYS. Uh, she's the niece of Chris, the one that we, the LYS. Oh my God, we that's gorgeous. But isn't this cool? And I it, couldn't have passed that up either. And it was on... <laughs> There's yarn in there. <laughs> like, Ooh. All the yarn. Um, it was on her half off. So it was like Ooh, 11, nice. 12 dollars. So it's real canvassy. Leather. Is it strap. leather? Oh, it that's is. super yeah. nice. Leather straps. So um yeah, I, I'm gonna start a um habitation throw with just some scraps. I'm doing some color swatches that I'll show when we get into um shop news but so I threw the leftover little balls in here so I'm going to do a habitation out of leftover color swatches so I thought well I'll just throw everything in there and then when I'm ready to start it'll all be there so I have that um, I have this is a non-knitting related look 
Ooh, at this candle. That's gorgeous. I, uh, it's not quite ready for spring cleaning, but I really wanted to redo my bathroom and change the color scheme. So I went with a gray oh. color scheme. So this is like a gray, oops, where's the camera? Gray that's frosted so pretty. Glass, a four wick. It smells so good. I wish What's you guys could smell it. Um, I knew you were gonna ask me you that. You can hold it up, I can read it. No. It is uh, called Tranquility. Oh, perfect. But it, oh, it's lavender chamomile frankincense. Oh. oh, it is so good. So this goes in my bathroom. I got new soap dispensers, like gray marble smoke soap dispensers and, nice. and stuff. So that's new. And then um, on my Goodwill journeys, I'm still oh, having fun doing Goodwilling. I found this glass bowl. Ooh, that's, that's gorgeous. That. That's gorgeous. You're getting all the good stuff. And um, it, it doesn't have a mark on the back. I cannot tell if it's hand done. But uh, I don't know. It this, could be. I just look, and I have a, a marble coffee table, like a square marble coffee table in my mm -hmm. living room. And the colors just go great with that. So oh, I have that there. Neat. So my Goodwill find for the week. I know it's I have just a bunch of stuff to drop off at Goodwill. Maybe I'll drop it off and then go in. Oh, I thought you were going to say you'll drop it off at my house. <laughs> oh yeah, no, <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> I know it's it is just fun. We went the other day. We stopped and we didn't find anything. So um, yeah, so that is cool. my acquisitions for the week. Very cool. Yeah. Um. I don't think do you have I have a favorite. I don't think I do this week. Do I? Did I bring something in? Nope. Yeah. Not cool. this week. I think maybe for the first time ever. But yeah. How about you? Coffee. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite. My favorite lately has been my coffee. So no, yeah. I don't. Uh, I don't. Um, have any. Oh, wait. No, I totally lied. Hold on. Hold Stop on. the presses. <laughs> okay, I got it. He's a little bit dusty. Oh. All right, so. <gasps> so my friend Carmen, our friend Carmen, she um, knit this little guy and baby Yoda, little, little Grogu. And she uh, put it we were going to, she was going to put it in an auction that was last March that of course got canceled. And so there was a silent auction and I, I got this and um, I am so happy. He sits in my office so looking at cute. me and the pattern doesn't have a face on it. I think for copyright reasons. So she figured out the face and I will link in the, um, down below in the info where her notes are on Ravelry and she did detailed notes about where to how to do the face so That's and then cute. her little jacket I mean and his look at his little hands <laughs> so cute so I've been meaning to show this and I just have kept forgetting so cute so cute bye bye everybody <laughs> So he's so cute. All right. Are we at shop news? We are. This might be a short one today. This is a short one. I'll talk a lot. So okay. um, let's see. What do I want to talk about? I'm going to knit do, on my swatch. Really. Okay. You knit on your swatch. Yeah. Um, I, I do have some discontinued colorways in the shop, and I'm trying to make room for new colors. <clears throat> in fact, I just have a couple cubbies left, I guess. This one and this one of discontinued colors. They're on sale for $18 a skein. So they're um, pretty inexpensive, but I thought I'd show some of them to you. So this one is on my singles base, which is a single ply merino silk. This is called Somewhere in Time. That's so it's mauves color. and browns. So yeah. some of this. Uh, what else do I have? Also on the um, single ply is marmalade, which is just a good spring orange. Mm -hmm. And 
you know, this stuff makes great summer teas and I might even have enough of this color in there if somebody wanted to order for a summer tea. So I have marmalade, I have rapture, which is just like a really deep purple. Pretty. Uh, I have, and some of these are also on other bases in my shop. I was just kind of showing some of the colorways. This one is, uh, oh, that's the other, somewhere in time. So I have those. I have buttercream, which is just a really soft yellow. So here's buttercream. Oh, that's, kind of that's a nice one to yeah, mix with stuff. Buttercream on my razzle dazzle. I've got some buttercream on merino cashmere nylon DK and buttercream fluff, which is the, the mohair silk. Uh, I also have some Rapture on mohair silk, and um, I have Vineyard. So Vineyard mm -hmm. is just some purples and greens. So those are just some of the colors that are um, on the in the discontinued sale. So on uh, the website trilogyyarn.com, there is a discontinued tab, so you can see what I've got on there. So eighteen, I said eighteen dollars a skein. Um, I am still working on knitting up some color swatches. I have some trunk shows in the works that I'll talk about in a minute. So this one is plumage. Oh, that turned out nice. Um, yeah, so this is like teals and greens and blues. So that's how plumage knits up. Now you have to realize that this is just a, you know, on a size six needle, I think I put 50 stitches on. So if you're doing a sock, uh, it will look up, you know, work up different. Um, but yeah, so that's plumage. I was dying up some, just some, for some orders this week, and I thought I would highlight those. Herd of turtles. So this is a pretty colorway. Yeah, that's really neat. Herd of turtles. I, I have, love the greens in there. Yeah, I have the um, enchanted forest, which is greens and purples. So this is, um, let me see some of the purple, Enchanted Forest, Solar Flare. Oh, cool. So this is just such a nice spring, summer color. Yeah. So this is um, Solar Flare. So those are some of the colors that um, I've been dying up. Um, of course, I have the clubs, Happy Hour Club. I just, uh, in fact, today, no. Today, Pri uh, Princess Bride Sock Club went out, shipped out today. And um, these are all three month clubs. Uh, auto, not auto renewing, but ongoing. So I try to send you a little message if it's your third shipment. So if you want to renew, you can. So I have uh, Princess Bride Sock Club just went out. I have the Pride and Prejudice. Um, and that one has shipped, that one I try to ship towards the end of the month. And then happy hour, happy hour went out last week and this month's drink was so good. <laughs> it was a Coco Chata Martini. Ooh, um, yum. So I dyed the yarn to match that. So that is my new favorite, new favorite drink is the Coco oh. Chata Martini. Um, Christmas in July Advents are live. Advent, it's just one for Christmas in July. It's a 30, 30 mini skeins, one for each day of day one through 30, 20 gram minis, and then a full skein for the 31st that will probably not match because the minis are going to be in a fade. Oh, so it's going to be a 30 day fade. Wow. Um, I have a designer that I'm working with to create um, something to knit these minis into I'm not going to tell you what it is yet um, so I've got a designer so there good chance there'll be pattern support for that um, that will ship middle of June so signups are up now I probably will close the signups um, maybe about the end of May um, I'm already working on dyeing up the kits now. So it just depends on how far ahead I can get. So we've got that. Um, trunk shows. Trunk shows are starting up. 
Uh, next week, I will be next Friday and Saturday, I'll be at the Nifty Knitter in Issaquah, which is just outside of Seattle. So I'll be there. I personally will be there for a trunk show for that oh, one. Oh, okay. Um, the week of, I'm sorry, the month of April, I will be the featured dyer at the Hook and Needle Nook, which is a trunk show here or a yarn store here in town. So my yarns will be featured there all month. I will not be there, but I'll have yarns there. It'll be like a, a month long trunk show. Uh, I may be there off and on, but with that. And then in April, the second and third week of April, I will be uh, I will be here, but my yarns will be at the Twisted U, which is in Garden City, which is a suburb of Boise. So that'll be a two week long trunk show for anyone that lives in that area. Um, and I'll, I'll be sure and put that on Instagram. So be sure and follow me on Instagram at Trilogy Yarns. But that'll be a two week long trunk show with um, lots of goodies, uh, lots of samples and lots of yarn. So trunk shows are starting up. Um, I have stores that have been reaching out to me. I need to reach out to stores to set up stuff. So, yeah. Cool. Start, I'm it's glad that's busy. working out. Yeah. 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 We'll see. So, yeah. So I'm, I'm anxious, though, to start getting out and doing some trunk shows. It really isn't feasible for me to travel much more than Seattle maybe Portland yeah. I haven't decided yet but um I have family in the Seattle area so it's nice that I can stay with them and if not Chip and Aaron I'm gonna stay with you <laughs> we've already <laughs> discussed that so yeah just those lots are our, of our fiber hustle fiber podcast hustle friends, friends. Yeah. yeah podcasts with them and I keep saying I'm gonna stay at your house and so they say well you can sleep in between us so oh wow well, but then they said they cozy. snore so that would be cozy especially if yeah. their cat Seamus is up there too right um yeah I'm trying to think that might be it just busy in the shop keeping stuff going great uh, I do have a word of the day oh yes let's hear it and uh the word of the day is um inelectable Inelectable. Inelectable, which is, um, it says it's early 17th century word. It's Latin origin, and it means, uh, it's an ad, 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 I kind of put, <laughs> thank you. All I could think of was objective. It's an uh -huh. adjective, and it's uh, unable to be resisted or avoided. Oh. So, trilogy yarns are inelectable. Yeah. Can't resist them. So that is the word <laughs> of the day. You know, and I think at the very beginning, we did not do our admin stuff, which is like, subscribe, show notes will be below. Kathleen's really good about doing the show notes. <laughs> so um, show notes will be below. Yeah. And let yeah. us know if you want us, if you, um, are doing the knit along and anything else uh, you'd like to share with us? We love your comments. Yeah, I think, it, like you said, this is a, this isn't even an hour. Ooh. Only because we just did a, another podcast before that. Yeah. Hopefully well, you've already seen with our whip parade. Yeah. So it seems like we've that been was sitting fun. here all day, but. It does. It does. Well, um, all right. Well, good to see you as always. And. Um, support your local yarn store support your local yep and it's still wear your mask and social distance and stay well and we will see you in a couple weeks right bye come bye. see me at nifty knitter yeah all right bye everyone bye